Today, you're going to hear from three of our courageous, bold, and inspirational sales professionals. Welcome to Real Estate Redefined. I'm Dan Forsman. I am honored to have three women who are reminders to me that in a moment, everything can change. In a crisis, people can either break down or break through. Here's the story of how Jody, Karen, and Lissa work through their adversity to break through. I know their stories will inspire you as they have inspired me. I learned about my diagnosis on June 29th, and I remember the date well, when the phone rang and she said that the pathology came back and it was cancer. I was shocked. I actually didn't even cry. I was like totally stunned. Went to my uh, primary physician and he actually sent me to an oncologist. Did find out it was, um, was cancerous. And I think my whole attitude now has been, I was given 20 years that I wouldn't have had had I not had good treatment back 20 years ago when I had breast cancer. I learned about my diagnosis and I had received a phone call from the breast cancer surgeon who had done my biopsy and she had told me, you know, I'm sorry to tell you, but we've we've found um, that you do have cancer. It was it was a very tough thing to hear. Um, it was not something I was expecting. Um, I know nobody expects to have that call. So what was going through my mind when I um, when I heard that I had cancer was what am I going to do to get rid of it? I had eight treatments every other week. Um, so it was 16 weeks. I had an incredible support system. I had friends. Um, each treatment, I had three people signed up for shifts. So when I walked through the treatment center and saw there's old people, there's young people, there's men, there's women, some people are very sick. Um, I just tried to smile and make everyone laugh. I wore, you know, I, I wore a wig one day that had curlers in it. When I got the diagnosis, I really didn't question why it happened again, because my attitude is not why me, but why not me. I mean, look at the percentage in the world of cancer. My first treatment, um, a lovely young lady came in and gave me some inspirational type materials. I got a little, little bag that was to hold a Bible, but it had a devotional book in it. And that was the perfect book for me. As far as preparation for treatments, um, I really didn't have a lot of time to think about it. The surgery was scheduled and I was, you know, in the operating room a week later. As far as maintaining my attitude throughout the process, there has been some moments where, you know, I'm alone in the shower and I think about the course that's taken place and sometimes you just need to let it out. And I have so much around me love and support and just things that I wanna do in the future that I didn't let it keep me down. I don't know that cancer has made me a stronger person, but it has made me appreciate things a lot more. And I, I, I have been blown away by the love and support and, um, you know, good wishes and, you know, people caring. It's just really been, um, it, it's made me feel very loved, you know, more so than making me stronger. It's just made me feel more appreciative. Um, working as a realtor during this challenging time has, has been a blessing. I still work. I worked in the infusion centers. My husband likes to take pictures of me, uh, of, <laughs> of me working. But um, pe my clients have been wonderful and understanding. Other agents have been, you know, amazing and supportive. And um, I just kind of feel lucky to do what I do. I, I guess my, my best advice to someone who's going through hard times is to, to do anything you can to come up with silver lining. Cancer has put my priorities in order and that 
what's important and what isn't important. Not to, not to major on the minors, but in appreciate each moment. Sometimes it's had to be moment due to discomfort from treatments, but that's okay because those moments pass. Throughout this journey, I feel like it's reinforced that reaching out to others and helping others is very important. I've been told that my journey through cancer has been an inspiration to others. I guess that's a little surprising for me because it's, it almost seems like a personal journey, but I'm so thankful if it is helping somebody else because that's who I am. I want to help others. A lot of the needed strength to keep moving forward comes from my friends and family. My advice for someone going through trials in their life is to just know that there will be brighter days ahead. You know, you can make it and you can get through it and you know, you just take one day at a time and it'll happen. What a powerful, inspirational story from these three amazing women. Cancer did not define or destroy them, it only strengthened them. I would like to thank Jody, Karen, and Lissa for sharing with us their personal journey. I would like to leave everyone with this thought. Many people are dealing with some sort of life-challenging situation right now. You can come back by how you live, why you live, and the manner in which you live. Remember, it is not how hard you fall, it's how high you bounce. For Real Estate Redefined, I'm Dan Forsman.